Hey guys, Glenn here. If you either 3D print for a hobby or for a living, you know that it's very important to keep your filament as dry as possible. Pretty much everything other than PLA really should be kept in a very dry environment. If you have PETG or nylon, ABS, or anything besides PLA, you need to keep it as dry as possible. Some PLAs even really need to be stored in a dry environment right away. Like a gray JO for instance, or other cheaper filaments that, you know, you're getting for 12 bucks or something like that. But it's worth it as long as you can keep them dry. If you can't keep them dry, you're better off buying a more expensive filament. Because what's going to happen is you're going to have lots of stringing and all of a sudden you're going to think your printer's broken. It's not, it's the filament. And then, what happens specifically with cheaper filaments is, once it dries out, it snaps very easily. So it could be printing, and sometimes it's just not even printing, just sitting there, and it will snap. And then you'll have to feed it through again. Uh, which is a pain in the butt, but if you keep them dry, you don't got to worry about that. Now, in previous videos, I've shown other ways of keeping your filament dry. But this one I'm very excited about because I've seen it before and I've always wanted to try it. When Ibo sent me an email saying that they wanted me to try this, I said, heck yeah, let's get into it. All right, so we got these bags, lots of them, reusable. They're like little Ziploc bags, which is pretty cool. And let's see how they work. Right now, they can open. All right. And then I'm gonna put a filament in, give it a shot. They also have these labels, so you can put what kind of filament it is and the dates. So you can reuse this and the bags, which is pretty cool. Let's see what's in the pouch. This is the vacuum pump. Look at that, brand spanking new. So, plugs in per USB. They don't give you a plug, so you'll have to use your own plug for it. Um, or just plug it into something that's USB. So let me go get a plug. All right, got my plug. Let's plug it in. This is the user manual. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. This is the instructions. If you want to pause on that, there you go. I'm not going to go too far into it, but we're going to plug it in, see how it works. I'm going to put a filament in here. Here we got some King Rune Blue, right here. The cheapest, best blue that I could find at the moment. And open up the bag, put the filament in, load your silica gel beads. We're gonna use this clip. Okay, so this seems sealed. You're going to want to give it a little bit of pressure while you do it. Um, and then you can see it's sealed. So it actually works pretty good. At first I I didn't think it would, but this clip falls off. So just be careful don't to lose these. Um, then you should be good. Now, let's turn it around and see how this pump works. Okay. Take this off. All right, I'm going to, oh, okay, so there's a little thing here. So you can put this on afterwards, I assume. All right, tie it up, plug it in. And it's already on. Okay, we're gonna press this button. This is in real time, how long it takes. I'm not gonna cut this because I know it's boring. But you guys should know how long it takes to, for this thing to work. But that is cool, man. Wow. That's about it. I mean, you can you can keep going. Now let's see what happens when I unplug. Okay, so this is it. When you hear it die down, that that's gonna be it. It's 
Wow, this is like better than factory. That is awesome. Now let's unplug this and make sure it's not gonna like leak or anything. Okay, awesome. And then I guess you could just put this right back on for some protectant. That is cool. This is gonna store forever. You put the, the, the disc in there. I, sh I, I probably should have put it in the middle there, but whatever. Um, as long as it's in there, I would assume it's gonna be pretty good. But that is cool, man. And it, it even works with my dragging clips here um, that you know you guys probably see me talk about all the time. Definitely recommend these dragging clips um, for no tangled filament, so awesome. Um, so, let's see how it opens. Let's take this off. Let's just rip it open and see. Boom. And we're ready to go. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so that worked even better than expected. I'm actually kind of blown away. Like, at first, you're like, oh man, it's taking a while. So, uh, you're like, oh man, I don't know. And then, and then once it starts taking all the air out, you just get this feeling of satisfaction. So I would definitely recommend this. Um, I'm going to be using it for very long-term storage. My print farm, I go through like hundreds of rolls a month. So um, I need it to be accessible so the PLA doesn't get old enough for me to, to have to use this. Unless it's a really cheap filament like uh, J.O. Gray has this issue uh, as well as Silver King Rune is you have to keep it so dry or else within like a day and it's PLA. Um, and my basement's pretty dry. It's in a basement in the, in Connecticut, but it's very dry down here. So no, none of my other PLAs have this issue. I keep all of my PLA out except the cheaper stuff. But it's worth it to me because I save five bucks on a roll. And if you do ten rolls a week of that color, uh, you're gonna save fifty bucks. So it's worth it to me to just make sure that these things are dry. Um, if you don't have a huge print farm and you don't want to invest so much money into the bins, it's going to be a lot more money to buy the bins versus this. This is cheap. It was like, I think it was less than 40 bucks or something. Plus you got to buy the dry beads, which is pretty expensive too. And I, you got to get like a whole eight pounds of it to really, really have it work as well as you're going to have to renew the dry beads in an oven eventually too, which I'm pretty much coming up on that and it's been maybe six months but I'm, I'm opening these bins like every day to go in and out um, but if I kept these things out it, they would just be completely ruined anyway you know and then I would have to dry them in an actual filament dryer and then you never get them 100% back but I have 100% confidence that you can be confident that, th that your filaments aren't going to dry up and be brittle and and have an issue with stringiness. So you don't even need a filament dryer if you just keep them dry to begin with. It's great. So I'm going to leave an affiliate link down below if you want to purchase this. I don't recommend anything that I wouldn't use myself. This is really cool um, and I thought it was going to be cool but once you, you see it suck the air out and you're there, I don't know, it's, it's a satisfaction thing. But this is definitely going to last a lot longer. So anything that you know you're not going to be printing with in the next couple of months, put it in here and it's going to be fine. I mean, it, it, there's no air left in it or at least not much. Especially with the silica gel beads, you're golden. Um, so pretty cool. It's not expensive um, and you can reuse it. So, I mean, it's a win-win. I'm actually going to use it a lot now, now that, now that I know what it's like. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. Watch this video next, and you have a great day.